Hey, I'm Scott, and I used to do woodworking, glass blowing, casting, pottery, and a lot of stuff. But for the last few years of my life, it's actually just been. So it all started when I first moved into downtown Seattle and quickly realized that woodworking in my parents' garage was not an option anymore. And wood shop memberships are all way too expensive in the city. So all of a sudden, I was completely deprived of any ways of making stuff. And as a maker, not being able to realize any of my ideas or make the things that I want to make, this tortured me. And then, I got a 3D printer. And honestly, at first it sucked. A lot of late nights troubleshooting print failures, poor quality prints. There were some awful experiences, but recently this technology has gotten really, really good. Like self calibrating, perfect first layer out of the box levels of good. And when I think about how 3D printing has changed my life, it's not about the cool toys, inventions, or tools I've printed. It's the little things, the mundane things from my daily life that 3D printing has completely transformed. Like when I moved into this new apartment and I needed a key holder, I realized I could. Or. Or I can 3D print it, pause the print, fill it with magnets, and then let it finish. Isn't this so much more fun than anything you can find inside a store? And I know it doesn't need to be this fun, it's just a key holder, but it's a key holder. It's the first object I interact with when I get home, every time I get home. I'll be using this object hundreds of times, so doesn't it deserve a little bit more consideration than just this? There are so many boring designs that have infiltrated our lives and turned many things we do in life into boring chores when they could be fun interactions or satisfying rituals. I'm honestly fed up with just all the boring, uninspired, one size fit all solutions that we are spoon fed. There is a lot of designs out there we really shouldn't be spending our money on, which is why I fell in love with the 3D printing community because I am not alone in feeling this way. There's a whole community of people who, just like me, believe that the everyday objects that we use can be better and more delightful. Here's a key holder designed by Tian Fu. And there's a great community of people modifying and improving each other's designs. Like the other day, my Uno cards got ripped during a party and Hugo designed this great parametric box. And then Matteo March remixed it and... Isn't that perfect? I am so impressed with not just how far this technology has come in the last few years, but also how large this community has grown. And while I believe everyone should learn how to 3D model, it's pretty incredible how much you can accomplish with a 3D printer, even without that skill. In fact, most of the prints I make are actually free designs by other people. There are also a lot of easy to use tools now for people who don't know how to 3D model. For example, I wanted to gift my mom this photo of my grandma but a framed photo just feels kind of boring. So I uploaded it to this tool on Maker World and then with a backlight gift, it's now a unique one of a kind gift. Wow. With one tool, I can now 3D print art. I can make custom organizers, tools. I can 3D print actual cash. These really pay themselves off. I'm kidding, you can't 3D print money, but you can collaborate with your buddy Overwork on an iPhone doc that goes so viral. 17 million views on social media. Uh, the artist's name is Overwork. Overwork? Scott Eugene. Which is the weirdest collab. Standby doc. The iPhone doc. And it goes way too hard. This doc is just fantastic. I absolutely love it. You fly to Toronto, Canada and work with a 3D print farm to get these masks produced and start a whole business in just two weeks. 
That's right, we've been selling those iPhone docks for the last month and we've shipped out hundreds of them. All of that was made possible with a tool that costs less than a game console or a nice pair of shoes. And this wasn't always possible for most of history. Before access to 3D printing, if I wanted to produce at this scale, I would have needed to fly to the other side of the world, find a supplier, work with multiple engineers to design tools dedicated to making my product, tweak those tools, and when everything was good to go, I'd be drowning in debt before the product was even launched. It doesn't even matter if you had great ideas, truly inventing and innovating was a privilege only accessible to those with money, which is why we've been deprived of the ability to produce things for so long. 3D printing isn't even new. Did you know that it's been around since 1986 when the world looked like this? It still blows my mind to think that 3D printing was invented just three years after the internet went online, but the technology just wasn't accessible to us. It was only restricted to the rich. 3D printing was only available to factories and labs, but times have changed because thanks to the open source community and passionate makers, forward thinking companies, this technology has completely evolved. They've turned what was once a complicated factory tool into one for hobbyists. And now in the fourth easy to use home appliance basically. 3D printing is now available to anyone with an idea. The playing field has finally been leveled and it's never been easier for any of us to bring our ideas to life. Someone I respect once said that when you grow up, when you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way it is. Your life is just to live your life inside the world. Try not to bash into the walls too much. Uh, well, that's a very limited life. Life can be much broader. Once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. And you can change it, you can influence, you can mold it. So don't settle for what others have created for you. Make your own things. Once you learn that, you'll never be the same again. Thanks for watching.